and welcome back to the channel. We've realised that it's been ages since we've done a few of your questions and answers and we've still got a lot of questions to answer so thank you for continuing to send them in. Some of them are really fascinating, really really interesting, makes you yeah, think doesn't it? it? really do yeah. <clears throat> so we thought we'd crack on tonight and do a few more. Yes and if anybody else has got any questions just <clears throat> put them in the comments of, of this video yeah. and we'll add them to the list. Yeah we keep adding them you see as questions come in we're adding them to our list yeah. so we will work our way through them. But yes, it's really got the grey cells working, hasn't it? Mm. <laughs> um, right, first of all then, Ruth Kirby, she says, what's your ideal duration for a trip away and have you ever been away for more than a month in Merlin or your previous vans? Well, the short answer is no, we haven't been away for more than a month in no. either Merlin or our previous um, motorhomes or caravans or anything else. Um, I suppose our average duration is a couple of weeks, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Well, we do like to go out for the odd one night. I yeah. mean, it varies so much. But I think what, what Ruth's asking there is... Uh, oh, no, she's asking for the ideal duration. Mm. Well, that's yeah, a difficult one. <laughs> that is. Um, <clears throat> As, as we're recording this, you can probably tell from the view behind us that we're not at home, we're actually away. And this is going to be our longest trip away so far yeah, in Merlin. Yeah, just over three weeks. Yeah, it? just over three weeks. Um, and we're sort of testing ourselves a little bit with this because we've not done a trip that long before. So I think we would actually be happy to be away for more than a month, particularly if we go to Europe. But this kind of trip is testing us because it's apart from one night, it's off grid as well. Yeah. So it's a different kind of trip, I think. It's, I certainly wouldn't, <clears throat> excuse me, I wouldn't call it a holiday as such. It's, um, yeah, it's quite intense, isn't it, where we are? And so would you say our ideal duration is a fortnight, but that we're working on? Well, it's just hard to say, isn't it? Because if we're going out for a couple of days that's the ideal duration at that time for that trip yeah, yeah um, I guess so you don't really unwind though as such do no you? no um, if you go on a longer trip you unwind a I, lot more I, I find that a really hard one to answer um, all I can say is that uh, I'm really enjoying the fact that this is three weeks mm. uh, plus um, yeah it's quite relaxed about um, getting back home isn't it mm. we've got a bit of a buffer there if um, if we need it yes uh, we've already in fact um, delayed a ferry crossing haven't we S yeah. to stay a little bit longer a bit longer um, I do have medication that has to go in a freezer oh yeah that's important yeah because you have that delivered don't I you? do Mer Merlin um, has got a little freezer but it is quite small um, so that's another consideration. We couldn't go for an unlimited period of time unless I basically bought a big freezer to put in the van and I don't know that we'd have room for that. So, yeah, so that's another thing. Um, but yeah, yeah, I suppose that you have answered it really. The ideal duration is just what you need it to be when you want it to be there. It could be one night because the weather's great and you just want to go and chill somewhere. It could be three weeks or more where you're really just part getting really back to nature and, and in the environment and just sort of immersing yourself in a place. And both of those things kind of have their merits, yeah, don't they? Yeah. But I am liking the three week idea. So thanks for that question. As you can tell, it's really got us thinking, Ruth. Right, the next question. I think this is probably for you, darling. Vans for the memories, thanks, Em. How's the naan bread restriction going and why is Graham not allowed them? <laughs> I'll tell you why. He is allowed them, um, but it's a practical reason. As you, if you follow the channel, you'll know that I tend to do one pot wonders for dinner and that means one pot to wash up. So I'll tend to cook a curry or something in a sauce and then just whack a packet of pre-cooked rice on the top and then either heat it like that or stir it through and the dinner's done. If we had naan bread, I'd have to get out a frying pan or the ridge monkey to heat it through. So it would then become a bit more washing up. So I suppose it's laziness really. I actually don't, you know, I just want to be practical and just one pot with the rice on top. Yeah. So it tends to be rice that's the default. But having said all of that, <laughs> naan breads. 
<laughs> we're having we're having one tonight, aren't we? Are we? Well, aren't we? Are we? <laughs> <laughs> See, is he going to wash the pan? <laughs> the extra frying pan? I mean, it's good. If to we're not having it tonight, pan. why the hell did we bring this with us? Just in case. Just in case what? We eat them. <laughs> but we won't eat them if you want to preserve pot washage. <laughs> Washage. Wash, washage. <laughs> washage. If you, well, if you want to wash a frying Look, pan, you can have naan bread. 7th of October, 23. It's going out of date. We've got to eat that soon. Do you like cold naan bread? I don't know. I never had cold That's naan bread. That's the point, bread. isn't it? If you had it cold. I've had cold naan bread from an Indian um, the like next day. on a Sunday morning <laughs> for, bre like for breakfast. <laughs> yeah, and that's really nice. Right, OK. I don't know what that would be like. Um, we might try that. Do you have cold naan bread or do you have to cook yours? I think, I'm not sure if it's Ken and, or Carol, but somebody that we follow has used naan bread as a base yeah. for something and then put stuff on top and use it a bit like a pizza base. That could be a one pot wonder, yeah. couldn't it? Might be worth But when try. we were talking about this earlier, Ali said to me, she said, well, I, d I don't do the naan because you have rice. I thought, well, if I have an Indian meal, I have rice and a naan. But like, she's got it in her head that it's rice or a naan. Excuse me a minute. Where, where, <laughs> whereas I think it's rice plus a naan. Well, we all know what you think about food, darling, don't you? But that's why I've got a fat gut, so yeah. <laughs> so thanks for that, Em. Um, yeah, practical reasons why he doesn't Now have you've got naans. us arguing, Em. Yeah. But I mean, he could have a naan bread with something on top and no curry, I don't know like a pizza. Any ideas of how to do a one pot meal with, including a so naan bread? So if we go to an Indian restaurant, not only do we have poppadoms to start with, with, with that, and then a main meal with rice, and we have a naan as well. <laughs> and a pudding. <laughs> and a pudding. <laughs> Why didn't you just skip to the pudding? <laughs> no, I don't want to just skip I to the pudding. I skipped to the pudding. Mm. Well, thanks for that again, Em. <laughs> yes, thanks for causing trouble. Yeah, he is allowed them if he washes the pan. Um, oh, here we have a question from Ray. Um, thanks for this question, Ray. Um, Hi, Ray. Yeah, and Nicola. Um, which is your most favorite vlog? Let you answer that one, Gray. So I think it's the um, same for both of us, probably. It's funny, but uh, my favorite one is often the, the one I last watched. And that's not because, um, although we are trying to, it's not because we improve, it's just that that's freshest in your mind. But that wasn't what you asked, was it? I, I suppose my favourite vlog is the one where we went up Blue Mountain. Blabine. La, Blabine, yeah. Sorry about that if it's badly pronounced. That was when it uh, started snowing when we were up there. Mm. Uh, because we, we both know what what challenge it was to do that yeah. physically. Yeah. It was and, and for the freezing. dogs as well. Yeah, we were all freezing cold. And, uh, we, we, we did it, didn't we? Yeah, we did. And it, yeah, it was. It was a real sense of achievement, mm, it wasn't was, yeah. it? To sort of battle the elements. It was one of those, yes, good moments. Good to be alive! Yeah, it really was, actually. <laughs> Sorry, Jazz, just woke the dog with my little shout. In fact, there. I'll put a link at the end of this video if anybody wants to watch that one, because mm. it, it's one of my favourites, and it's also one of the lowest viewed. Yeah, not many people um, watch it. Not many people have watched it, and I... Mm. I'm not sure what went wrong, whether it was the picture I put on the thumbnail or what, but... If it had my face, it's going to Oh, that'll be it, it then, yeah, yeah, <laughs> that'll be it. So, yeah, give it a watch if you haven't. Yeah, um, yes, please do, and let us know what you think of it. So, thank you for that, Ray and Nicola. So, we've had a really interesting question from Julie Brooks. She asked us, are you planning to keep your CV40 as there's a lot of YouTubers changing their vans. And also Michelle Harris also, thank yes, you for she, that. Yes, what so did she, Michelle say, um, how said long do we plan to keep, keep Merlin? Merlin for? Um, well, when we bought Merlin, it, it was forever, wasn't it? Yes, um, until we couldn't do van yeah, life anymore. because at our age, you have to think how many vans we've got left in us. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But... Um, <laughs> One, maybe two. Uh, and then you see other people changing their vans and, and, and you think, well, that would be nice. Mm. But we've actually got everything we want. Now that we've had the diesel heater fitted to, to Merlin um, with all the electrics we've done and everything, I'm, I'm really quite happy with it, aren't you? Yeah. 
Yeah, I am. I, 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 I mean, we did sit in somebody else's uh, motorhome last... Sorry, just bear with me a second. We did sit in somebody else's motorhome last night, and uh, it was nice to have the space, oh, wasn't it? It was. It um, brought back memories of when we had our motorhome. Yeah, home. and the same people... Um, as Alan and Susie from uh, Harry the Heimer were in uh, Merlin this morning and it was pretty cramped wasn't it? It was, standing room only, yeah, yeah it's, it's so, very different. Uh, it works well for us and of course usually it is only us mm. so we don't have a, really any problems with Merlin do we? No, um, no the, we The only don't. thing I would like to do is maybe add some uh, all-terrain tyres Yeah. Um, although we've driven over all sorts of grass on this holiday, haven't we? We have. Off grid and yeah. uh, it's been fine. Yeah. I mean, I also think um, what I, I, Merlin is, as, for me, as perfect as a camper van can be in terms of design. Uh, I wouldn't say necessarily the build quality is perfect. There are issues with that where we you have to be quite practical sometimes, don't you, and fix yeah. things. And it's not that robust yeah. but the actual design of it I think is second to none it, it suits our needs perfectly so I guess if money was no object I would have a Merlin replica but it would be probably better insulated um, and things would be made to a well, higher standard. if you had standard. enough money you could go to a custom builder build. and get them to build exactly what you want. Yeah but I love everything about the design, the simplicity, there's no frills to Merlin, there's nothing fussy about it, you know, um, and every ounce of space has been squeezed out to, to be practical. So in terms of the choice of having Merlin, don't regret that at all. Would no. I change Merlin? Not really, unless money was no object. You know, if we had loads and loads of money and we could get, say to someone, right, this is the ideal van, show them Merlin and say, now you do the same, um, maybe in a more sort of reliable way and with a, with, better, with a better finish, maybe. But that would be the only thing and nothing has come close. We've seen no. loads and loads of reviews of vans and nothing has come close, in my opinion, to, to what we have here. So if it ain't broke, don't fix it, I guess. Um, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I, we don't really feel a need to change the van, do we? No. Um, the thing that did worry me was keeping warm, because we go out of season a lot on our adventures. And um, yeah, that, that did worry me um, with the LPG situation. Yeah. But now, as, as Graham said... It's, a, it's a game changer people. for us, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it's been brilliant. It's been absolutely brilliant. You know, other people might think, well, does it matter if you have a diesel heater or an LPG heater? Mm. But here on the island you can't buy no it's hard to get LPG uh, we, we don't we're on the Outer know. Hebrides and you can't buy LPG you no know, you don't we, or if you can we don't know where it might be one place nobody seems to know where no. do so it's probably really hard to track down and you know you've only got to get a ferry cancelled and that's it you're you're cold you know you've run out of gas that's it yeah well we've had what did you say 15 nights off grid is it 15 yeah we had one night with hook up out yeah. of those yeah um, but so, our first and night um, on the islands, we've not had any problems with with uh, lack of power, have we? No. Um, every time we park up for the night, we check the batteries, and they've usually been close to a hundred percent, haven't they? They have. But we're digressing. We're talking yeah, about where yeah. we are now, aren't we? Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Which is okay. We're on the Outer Hebrides. It's not a secret. I mean, just look at that. Yeah. We're on the Outer Hebrides, and it's really meant we could put Merlin and the diesel heater and all the everything that we've done to the test better than ever before, mm. haven't we? Whether it's the lithium setup that we have. Um, whether it's using a jackery, whether it's using the diesel heater, um, it really has, you know, put it through its yeah. put, put us and it through its paces. It's, it's a great adventure, though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, loving definitely. it. Definitely. So yeah, we're we're very pleased with Merlin. Yeah. So thank you for that question, Julie, and also Michelle. Um, yeah, yeah. Never say never. If we won the lottery, I think we may do something but it would be a replica of what we already have. I mean I'm, I'm sometimes quite envious of some of these big angry looking off off-road um, yeah, vehicles jacked up and we, yeah we saw a lovely mm. one didn't we yeah yeah and uh, he was a lovely chap and uh, yeah uh, he sold his house and, and built that during Covid didn't that's he? That's it yeah no, but um, don't think there's any cushions in that van. <laughs> I don't think no no, <laughs> no. 
Okay. So, um, yeah, the, I do look enviously at some of those um, uh, great beasts. Mm. But uh, no, Merlin does everything we need, doesn't it? Yeah, doesn't it? yeah, yeah. So, hope that's um, answered some of your questions. We've still got quite a few to go through. We haven't forgotten them. Um, but we thought this was an ideal opportunity to do it while we're sat here by a very noisy sea. There's with some big breakers coming there in. There are, off with the Atlantic. And potentially a very nice sunset. But if you want to see that, you're going to have to watch the Outer Hebrides series, which will be coming up during the winter because we work a few months behind. Yeah, we've got the um, Yorkshire series first, haven't we? Yeah, so we're going to leave this here now um, just to say thank you again. And we'll catch up with you in the next one but please don't forget thumbs up notification like subscribe um facebook um and, and buy the dogs a coffee no they don't drink coffee buy the dogs a treat if you feel like it we know money's tight at the moment yeah we don't give the dogs coffee so please don't worry no. about that the and treat cupboard's pretty full though isn't it oh yeah yeah the, every penny you send for them goes on treats for them they are very spoilt so they're having to run on the beach to run off their little bellies. <laughs> and I, I think we're going to have to run off the, on the beach to... Which reminds me, are you going to do that now tonight? <laughs> Catch you next time. Bye.